Hi folks, welcome back to the hoard. Let me show you what I'm up to today guys and gals. You guys remember this, I got it up to the Rhinebeck car show. Um, it's a Honda ATC 125 and I think it's 1985 vintage if I'm recalling correctly. Um, where's your next sticker? Eighty-four, nineteen eighty-four vintage. And if you guys recall, I got it basically as she sits, and I went as far as to attempt to put oil into it. And something's been walking through my oil. I don't know if that's a cat or a fox or what the heck it is. Um. So, I put the bolts in all the way around. Somebody had taken the bolts out. That's normally indicative of a problem. Um, also, with this thing, somebody had uh, the recoil. This is my recoil. I had to replace it. The recoil on here was gutted. Somebody uh, took all the guts out of it. And the, um, there's the basket, the starting basket, the recoil grabs onto. Uh, it was loose. Um, I tightened it back up and set that all up. So since putting the recoil on it, I did a compression test and the compression came in, what was it, like 110, 115. Um, now that it's all bolted together, I'm going to filter out that oil and I'm going to put it back in. I'm obviously not going to like run it on that oil. I just want to get it get it fired up with some oil in the crankcase and I don't want to dump another cord into it. So I'm going to filter that oil up, uh, put it back in. Um, the case is on it as I just mentioned. So the next thing is the carburetor. and Let me show you what I got. Um, the carburetor obviously sat with some gas and oil in it. So it's a bit of a wreck. Uh, the float is not moving at this point. So it may or may not come back to life. Um, I have, this is for uh, cleaning cleaning uh, the torches, uh, the jets on a torch, the, uh, the little holes, the gas and air and so forth go through. So anyway, I have that out and I'm cleaning the jet up. Sometimes the hole down the center. This one's clogged like completely. But sometimes the hole down the center is clogged up. And then a lot of times what I'll use is um, I mean depending on on the size. I'll use a bristle, bristle out of a brush. One of these guys. Or um, sometimes I, I get wire electrical wire you know the multi-strand electrical wire and I take one or two strands of that and and work work my way through it the um, the, the copper colored wire even even sometimes the uh, this this wire is small enough sometimes it's too big and uh, believe it or not, the wire that's inside a um, tie wrap, if you take the plastic off, typically that wire is pretty thin but yet very strong. So you can kind of poke your way through the jets. After I get this carburetor cleaned up, I'm going to smash it on and hope for the best. If it doesn't work out, I'm noticing this is a new carb. Um, it's one of those China clone carbs. I I bought it. It was an eBay deal. Typically, they go for 25 bucks, give or take a little bit. Sometimes they uh, they put them on sale as low as 15.99, and sometimes nobody has them up any cheaper than like 22, 23, 24.99. So call it uh, 20 bucks plus or minus five. Um, it saves a lot of time. 
having those ready to go. I'm I'm doing the rebuild because I'm I'm trying to. I'd rather not tear that apart right now. I could put a battery to it, start it up, and take it for a ride. So I'd rather leave that in its current condition. Um, rather than tear the carb off of this, put the carb on that. Then where is this carb? This carb needs a rebuild. It goes into my use pile. I'd, I'd rather determine that that carb is good or bad and go forward with it. If it's bad, fine. Maybe... You, you know, I'll know it's bad, I'll mark it bad, I'll throw it into the dead pile. Then maybe I'll bag that carb and, and put it on there and then get another one for that. Um, so that's where I'm at, and we'll see if uh, if she fires up. Stay tuned, wish me luck, and uh, we'll catch you all shortly. Take care now, bye.